we're all searching for plants that look good in the garden and which thrive on our rusted watering days. Andrew and I are going to show you some of our favourites. I really appreciate Australian Native because they've learned to adapt in our dry climate and hot weather and there's none better than Cascade of Stars. It has pink buds in winter that open to white star-shaped flowers. Only grows to 15 centimetres tall. It's excellent in pots. There are lots of flowering plants that are water eyes, and this is one of the most beautiful climbers, the gorgeous wisteria. Chinese wisteria is almost indestructible once established, and when it flowers, it fills the air with a beautiful perfume. If you're looking for a plant that tolerates our sandy soils, you can't go past the olive grevillea. And if you've got that unsightly mess in your backyard, it's a great plant to screen it out. Now, another fantastic screening plant is Albany woolly bush. With its fluffy foliage, you just want to cuddle it. And guess what? It makes a great Christmas tree at Christmas time. Most people know these as geraniums, but they're really pelagoniums, and these are part of the Americana series. They flower for months, especially if you remove the spent flowers, and they look fantastic in a pot. Commonly known as the native rosemary, Jervis Gem grows a metre high by a metre wide. It has soft silvery leaves with soft mauve flowers and it's great for formal and informal hedges. Clivia is one of the best flowering plants for dry shade, even those difficult areas beneath trees. It flowers in early spring, comes from South Africa and this is the gorgeous common orange flowered form. But if you're prepared to pay top dollar, you can get cream and yellow flowered varieties. Succulents come from hot, dry climates and have many different forms. These rosette ones are my favourites as they look like tiny little flowers. Here, I'm using leaves to grow rooted cuttings and I'm adding it to my vertical garden. Now, if succulents aren't your thing, check out this little ripper. This is convolvulus. It's got grey leaf foliage and self-mounting habit and it's great moon-shaped flowers. What could be more romantic than these beautiful African daisies? They're also known as Sailor Boy because the common variety is white with a blue centre. They're perfect for cottage gardens. When you're planting in WA soils, choose dry climate plants, improve soil with compost and clay and mulch well.